Okay, everybody, I'm going to re review the time lapse of this piece, this commission that I finally finished of this Dungeons and Dragons character, the Mind Flayer, and the Nodloid, which is his ship in the back. Um, I got paid, and the uh, customer or client said he liked it, so I'm just going to go ahead and play back the video. I'm going to kind of review my process. Um, let's, let's take a look. I'm not sure how long it is. Okay, so the first thing I do was arrange my references and then put in a sketch. Um, but even before that, as I was preparing for this piece, I was discussing with the client on Discord about like how he wanted the composition to me. He gave me some examples, um, and I think he provided these uh, references as well, which makes things a lot easier on me. Very good client. Um, I've done, I think, I think three or four uh, pieces for him now. Let me take this thing off no, low battery mode real quick, just so that um, it doesn't gray out. Um, okay, so I'm putting in the sketch. Um, and I was kind of trying to figure out the tentacles here, what, what direction to put them. You can see me trying to figure out like how to arrange my references too as I go. Um, and again, during this piece, because I haven't done too many illustrations on Procreate, at least not like commission-wise. And um, you can kind of see during this piece, um, which I've made videos about too, that I'm still trying to figure out my brushes. I'm still trying to figure out, like there, you can see me playing with brushes. Um, creating custom brushes, trying to figure out which one looks the best. Eventually I decided on one that's more opaque and one that can kind of help me do line art quickly. I kind of know over oh, from experience, like from using Krita, like what kind of brush I want. Um, and you can also see, I'm not sure how many passes this has been already. I think it's been, I think it was, I think I finished this one like three or four in, uh, line, line passes. Um, ideally, uh, you want to do things in as few passes as possible to save time, but the more passes I do, the more accurate it becomes. Um, I think this is like the third, I think this is the third pass now that I did. I think I ended up with four. Um, and you can see I am starting the hatching lines once I get into the later passes, because I kind of know how the form is going to look. Um, and the composition looks off right now. I don't remember if I, if I moved him around in this composition, or is this where he ended up being? Um, I might have like shrunk them a little bit here. But as you can see, I'm taking more time to clean up the lines here. And I undo so much. That's another thing that I feel like will really speed up my process if I stop undoing. And I also um, need to zoom in and out less. Um, I, from this replay, you can't really tell how much I'm zooming in and out. But if you go back to my YouTube videos, you maybe you can see like how much am I zooming in and out and how much do I undo. Uh, ultimately, what saves time is to not zoom out very much, not zoom in, very, not zoom in and out very much and, and not um, rotate and just draw. I mean, rotating is fine, but um, the zooming can be kept to a minimum. Um, yeah. So I got the nautiloid in there, and I think I hid the sketch layer for the nautiloid. Um, now I'm trying to place... Yeah, there. I, I, there's. This is where um, I changed the size. I think his head proportionally was too big to his body, too. You can see again that I'm playing with brushes. I think at this point is when I had figured out the type of brush that I want. You can see I'm playing with composition the whole time. I think, yeah, that part was when I was playing with... Um, the final line art uh, brush that I want to use. Now this one is decent, but there's still an improvement I can make to it where I would like for its minimum uh, thickness to be more pointy. Um, and I think the opacity of the brush around the edges, um, like the graininess is fine, but I think it could be a little bit um, smaller on the graininess. I don't know, you can really see the grain on here. So it's still a brush that I can play with, but it's a brush that I was, uh, I was satisfied with for now. Um, I think going back to the Jesus, Mary, and Joseph drawing I'm doing, I'm going to go ahead and make another pass using this brush. Um, I'm going to finish that, or I don't remember what pass I'm on, second or third, but I'm going to go back and use this brush. And I like this brush a lot. Brings me back to my, you know, um, traditional comic booky um, mediums that I was using, you know, ink pens, like uh, microns and stuff. I, I would equate this to like a 0.5 micron or a 0.3 micron. Um, it's kind of thick. Um, and if I wanted to go um, more detailed, I would use um, a thinner micron, or um, if I had a really high, sk high skill level, I would use like a delicate brush pen and be able to do the line, line weight as I go. I do think brush pens have like really high um, skill ceiling, uh, difficult to use, but um, ultimately they give like um, the most control uh, and the most options when it comes to line weight. So. That's kind of what I want to imitate. Like a brush pen with rough edges is what I want to imitate in, with an inking brush. Um, as you can see, though, I'm using the same brush to get the details on the nautiloid. Now, for the nautiloid, I did use a, a lighter gray, um, kind of brownish, purplish gray, as you can see for the line art here. I'm just putting it behind the, um, the uh, Mind Flayer. And the Mind Flayer's um, 
the Mind Flayers uh, line art came out really satisfying here. Um, I love, you know, putting in extra line weight after I put in the sketch and then putting in the hatching lines for shading. Uh, yeah, it's really fun. I kind of like, I kind of like how this went. Um, I'm going to go also into my Excel and record how much time I spent overall on this because I mean, I was paid a hundred dollars for this one minus PayPal fee, which is actually kind of a lot for some reason. Um, and, uh, so, and, but then plus like whatever money I make from ad revenue from these videos, which is like very, sm very little cause I don't get many views. Um, but I want to keep this process going. I like what I did with this where, um, I don't have a whole lot of time to do artwork throughout my day cause I have a couple jobs. Um, but when I do artwork, I want to make sure that my, my drawing sessions are recorded and I, I capture the time lapses like this and just review the process and review every rep and, um, make sure I'm making improvements upon each rep, like taking notes and stuff. This is where I decided on the oil brush to do the background. I kind of like how the oil brush turned out. Um, so I'm going to, I might be using that more depending on what, uh, I'm, uh, what I'm rendering. Um, and this is where I think here is when I just, um, I was able to create a good brush. I probably created like three brushes during this process and I settled on two that I like my inking brush and also this color brush that detects, um, detects uh, pressure sensitivity for both size and opacity or size and flow um, yeah uh, making the um, the brush size bigger and smaller oh you can see I'm sort of rendering here the shine I think I started using overlay layers at this point too um, one of the things I was thinking about too is like this piece when used on his website is gonna be really shrunken down to like like four times smaller than the full resolution that I did. So I didn't want to get too crazy about the rendering of detail, but I just, I just wanted to make sure I got the colors right. As, as you can see, I desaturated him a couple times because I thought his face was too purple. Um, this is when, this is my final touch. I'm just putting the overlay layer, putting highlights and shadows, um, using the overlay layer, which is kind of how I, um, uh, just make things easier on myself. And it ended up being pretty good. You can see that the overlay layer at the very end does make a big difference on like the lighting aspects of it. So yeah, that was a pretty good time lapse, um, and yeah, a lot of learned a lot in this process, and hopefully moving forward to the next one, I can share with you guys. Um, yeah, uh, we can keep growing, and uh, for yeah, for those of you who want to sort of like grow with me uh, as an artist, go ahead and join my Discord. It is on my website, uh, www.opuslilium.store, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.